Hello everybody, my name's Tim and this is part two of the how to do IELTS writing task two general and academic video series. So in video one we looked at the basic information that you need to write these essays effectively. Today we'll be focusing on different question types that you might get and what structure to use when answering them. First we'll look at what the different question types are, then we'll talk about why it's important to be able to identify the type of question and then we'll look at different structures you can use to answer these questions. And finally, we'll have a quick quiz to see what you can remember. So, let's get started. Right. What question types are there? Well, the three main types of questions are discussing both sides of an argument style questions, giving an opinion and then justifying it type questions and then providing a solution to a problem type questions. These are the main types of essay questions you're going to see in your test. Occasionally there are some slight variations of these but if you learn the structures that I'm going to show you today you'll be able to apply them to any questions that are slightly different. But the majority of the questions will be in these three styles. Now you know what the three main types of questions are, let's see if you can work out what type of questions these are. Example question one. Some people believe that governments need to do more to tackle the problem of traffic congestion and protect the environment more. Do you agree? Pause the video now and have a think which type of question it is. And the answer is that it's a giving an opinion and justifying it essay. The key there being at the end where it says, do you agree? So that indicates that you need to give your opinion. Okay, next question. Some people see traffic congestion and pollution as a natural part of developing a country, while others think it is negative and should be avoided at all costs. Discuss both points of view and give your opinion. Again, pause the video and think if you need to. And the answer is, it's a discussing both sides of an argument style essay. Again, the clue there being at the end where it says, literally, discuss both points of view. Question number three. Traffic congestion is becoming a problem in cities across the world. What can be done about this? Again, pause the video if you need to and have a quick think. And the answer is, of course, providing a solution to a problem. Clearly at the end there it says, what can be done about this? That's a clear hint for you. So, so what? Why is the question type important? Well, different questions require different structures. That means, what are you going to say in each of your paragraphs? And in what order are you going to put those paragraphs? Doing this in a correct and appropriate manner will give your essay something called coherence and cohesion. This is one of the ways examiners mark your essay and basically 
they're looking to see if you can organize your ideas effectively. So if you use a clear structure, you will be giving your essay a good coherence and cohesion band score. You'll also be showing a good academic style. It'll be a clear format and it will show purpose. These are all things that will add flow and clarity to your essay. Finally, having a clear structure that you're going to use and that you've practiced will give you confidence when you're under pressure in the exam. Some people get really nervous when they're doing tests and having a clear structure to use can really help alleviate or get rid of some of that stress and pressure. So how exactly do you structure an IELTS, an IELTS task to essay? Well, if you identify the question type as being one where you have to give both sides of an argument, your structure might look like this. Paragraph one, you would have the introduction. Paragraph two would be the advantages. Paragraph three would be disadvantages. And paragraph four would be a summary of both sides and a statement of your opinion. The advantages and disadvantages paragraph will usually focus on one or two main advantages or disadvantages. It won't just be a big long list. We will look in more detail at paragraph structure in a later video. If, however, your question type requires you to give an opinion and justify it, you, you would again have four paragraphs. Your first paragraph is your introduction and a statement of your opinion. The next two paragraphs are your body paragraphs where you will give justifications of your opinion. That's why you think what you do. And finally, in the fourth paragraph, you'll restate your opinion and give a brief summary of your reasons. If, however, your essay that you're required to write needs you to give a solution to a problem, again, you'll have four main paragraphs. First being the introduction, which includes a description of the problem. The second and third paragraphs will discuss possible solutions. And the final paragraph will contain a summary of the main problems and offer your main solution. So those are the three main essay structures that I recommend for you to use and master. The fourth video or the next video will look at exactly what goes in each of those paragraphs. Now, let's see if you've been listening. It's time for our quick quiz. Pause the video after each question and say the answers out aloud to yourself. It helps you to remember the facts and then pr press play for the answer. So question number one, what are the three different types of essay questions? Pause and speak to yourself. Hopefully you said an essay that requires you to discuss both sides of an argument, an essay that requires you to give an opinion and justify it, and an essay that requires you to provide a solution to a problem. Okay, question number two. Why is using a clear structure important? Have a think. Well, remember, it's about coherence and cohesion. 
making sure that you organize your ideas effectively, giving your essay an academic style in a clear format. This is what the examiners are looking for. Question number three. How many paragraphs would you normally have in total? What do you think? Well, normally you would have the four paragraphs. Your introduction, two main body paragraphs, and a conclusion. Okay, finally, question number four. Are all essay questions going to be one of these three types? I talked about this at the beginning of the video. What did I say? Have a think. Well, most of them will be. The vast majority you'll be able to put into one of these three categories. Occasionally, you might get a question that's a slight variation of one of these, but using your common sense and knowledge of these structures, you'll quite easily be able to modify them slightly to a slightly different type of question. But most of the questions that you're going to see will be one of those three types. The examiners do like to change it slightly. Um, that's where you need to show that you can think for yourself a little bit. But by using similar structures to what I've just shown you, you'll have absolutely no problems. So that's the end of video two. Next in video three, we'll be looking at how IELTS essays are marked and importantly, how you can use this information to get higher band scores. I know you're gonna enjoy that one. Okay, so see you on the next video and don't forget to like, subscribe and share uh, this video um, so your friends can check it out as well and also have a look at IELTS Freeway 